it's grab five time woohoo so today let's see what i've got i have got my crepe paper wonder six by six paper pad which i haven't cracked open yet so that's a new little thing in my stash i've got these crepe paper confetti um stickers and there's not there's not a ton left on here there's mainly just flags and labels and a random chicken which I guarantee I'm still not going to use on this layout um, and of course the alphas then I have these little mamby chips which I've used a few of them but there's still most of them left so they're like a chipboard and then at the back they have these little clear stickers I have these Simon Says Stamp heart stamps which I absolutely love and I've never used but they're just they're gorgeous and finally something a little bit different do you guys do Christmas bonbons because we do and or Christmas crackers you might call them um, and these were prizes that I won in my Christmas crackers last year a tiny set of playing cards which is really cute and these mini dominoes which I don't know what they expect you to do with them because well you can't really have a game with that can you so I'm going to combine those as one item and put that in my grab five. So the concept of grab five, grab five things from your stash, make a layout, use something from every item and you're good to go. Okay, so today's project life is a little bit different and I thought I'd give you a bit of a rundown before um, I get stuck into it. So this is actually an insert in my weekly project life and this was a trip that Aaron and I took to Sydney to deliver some wedding um some items for a wedding that we were styling and we also went to the powerhouse museum and had dinner at the casino and we had a really fun time and I took gazillions of photos but I did it because I knew I was going to try this out I bought these coin they're coin protector sleeves and I bought them off eBay for a couple of dollars and I saw on Pinterest someone did some um, just a, a title page for their album like this so they had photos of their family and then things in all of the photos and I really liked it so what I have done is I've printed off my photos using the Project Life app cut them out and see how you can see the white around them oh, from the photo behind that's really annoying me so I am going to stick them all together off camera but I won't put you through that so this is our trip down this is the blackboard that i made for them if you can see that and we had some suitcases and our red vintage lounge and decked out the the space that they were hiring and then where did we go then we went to the powerhouse museum so that's all little driving sydney photos then the powerhouse had some really cool exhibits on a lot of them are on um, like vintage or well, they had all these vintage transport things which they always have in the big planes and um, then they had this I think it was inventions or something so they had like the first Apple computer and typewriters and it was just beautiful so took some photos there I loved this thing then we had to wait around because dinner didn't start until later and so we were a bit hungry so we had a picnic in the back of our van because that's how we roll we're so cool like that so we went to Woolworths and bought some ham and cheese and some baguettes and made ourselves a little picnic in the back of our van in the middle of the city <laughs> and we went for a drive we went down to Luna Park and took some photos in front of the bridge we were going to go to Luna Park but it was just too pricey and I don't do roller coasters so there was no point and then we went to the casino not to play but to um, have dinner because they have the most amazing rice ever and there's my rice it's so beautiful and oh we did play the poker machines I think we put $20 in and then we went packed up the van and drove home so what I'm going to do quickly off camera is these holes let's see how big are they I think yeah they're two by two so what I'm going to do is go through the wonder paper pad and just off camera cut um, a few pieces just using my paper trimmer so you don't have to sit through that 
Alrighty, I've snippy snipped off camera and we've sped this up a little bit. So I really love these page protectors. I think they're really fun and because they're a bit smaller, they give a bit of, you know, I always say this about inserts. I'm sure you've heard me say it a lot, but they give a bit of interest to your album. So I'm just going through and trying to make sure that I don't have two of the same patterns on the same page. And I'm also trying to coordinate kind of with the colors around uh, the bits around the holes where the paper's going so like for example that little one is little festive uh kind of like bunting but with circles like a garland that's the word I'm looking for so I thought that was a, a good one to put down near the pictures of Luna Park so the first thing I'm going to do is just start stickering I love it when I can just grab stickers and just chuck them on the paper it's so fun I think it brings me back to my childhood. I was a mad sticker collector and I used to have, I remember it so well, I've, I probably still have it at my parents' house somewhere, but it was a sticker book and it was so clever. I don't know if they still make them. People with children who, who have stickers, tell me if this is still around. It's a little book and the pages are kind of plasticky, so kind of laminated. And so you can put your stickers in it and you can peel them back up again. So this little book that I had, it was circus themed with teddy bears. I remember it well. And I used to stick all of my stickers in there and then I could peel them up and use them and stick them on my face. So what I'm doing here is I am doing something a bit fancy. I'm getting my embossing powders out. And I love these little hearts so much and I knew that because it was a bit of a special blingy weekend it was a wedding we went to the casino we went to um, near the Harbour Bridge I thought we need a bit of gold when don't you need gold that's my question so my Versamark uh, is slowly on its way out it's slowly dying and look I, it's clinging on and I, I, I give it big props for hanging on for so long. It's been through wedding invitations. It's been through a lot. And so I desperately need new ones. So some of those hearts didn't quite stamp properly because there's chunks of things on, there's bunny hair on it. There's just everything on this verse mark. It's, it's, it's had it, it really has. Um, and there just seems to be a spot where all of the stickiness has gone. It's just disappeared. So um, I cut those out. Some of them I did circles. Some of them I just, you know, I just cut out fussy cut. And I'm just going to scatter those throughout the whole layout. I guess you could call it a layout. It's four pages, technically eight if you count back and front, but it's a big freaking layout. Um, so those top pictures are pictures just down the road from my house. If you're a Central Coast person, you might figure out where that is. Um, and so I just did the little houses because that was when we just started driving and there was lots of buildings around and we were going through the streets of Sydney. And I used those little tiny alphas to spell out road trip. I do... I have a love-hate relationship with the alphas that are on the, the mini alphas that are on the bottom of crepe paper sticker sets. I love them because they're cute and they're always a nice font, um, but I don't like them because they take up valuable sticker space. Now I, was it this one? I think this is the layout that my Fuse and I fought very dramatically. My Fuse tool decided um, it was going to melt everything. I think I had it on for too long. Has anyone else had that problem with their fuse tool? Because if you don't know what a fuse tool is, it's a little, uh, it's like a little wand and it gets really hot and you can seal plastic, the page protectors together. It's a great thing if you want to make shaker pockets. It's great if you want to make your own customized page protectors with different sized pockets. Um, I really I really enjoy using it but we fought a lot on this and I'm pretty sure there's one of the pockets that I made that is a complete complete disaster and I had to do it twice or thrice times and it didn't work at all um, but yes the mr. heat tool 
Mr. Fuse. I think his name could be Frederick. Frederick the Fuse Tool. Frederick decided he was going to just melt everything in sight. So, look, it might have been my fault. It was probably 90% my fault, but Frederick did the other 10%. I rested him on... I rested him very sillily on um, the, the side of the embossing tray. And look, he was in a good spot. He wasn't... The hot parts weren't touching it. And, and then he shifted. And now I have... So I have one of those embossing little trays that have the spout at the end so you can tip the powder back into your little jar very neatly, which never happens. Um, now it has two little spouts because my fuse tool has created a new one, which which is thanks, Frederick. Thanks, Freddie, for adding to my craft disasters. So I love making filler cards. Not sure if you've noticed that over the past few months or almost a year I should have an anniversary party on my scrapbook like page that would be fun this might be the pocket that I completely stuff up I am going like a total squirrel and tangenting so badly on this spread I'm sorry it's very late and it was my first day back at work today for a little while um, I've been quite sick but I'm feeling a bit better yeah this is the one that doesn't work and yep, doesn't work, yep, doesn't do it. So I just keep going, when in doubt, just keep <laughs> keep hacking at it. And you can't really notice. I only notice because I know that I did it and I kind of stared at it for a little while and cursed at it in my head. Do you do that a lot? I do. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I'm special, but I do do that quite a lot and I just, I, I say some things think I say some things sometimes to my paper that it probably wouldn't want to hear and I said some choice words to Frederick in my head while that was happening so these photos I think I might have said it in the, the start little intro um, these photos uh, were super fun they were from uh, the powerhouse museum here in Australia and they had some really cool exhibits on now this oh this is a disaster too look at that oh frederick he cut through the page protector instead of sealing it i think it was just too hot way too hot frederick you're just too hot man put a shirt on i'm look i am on another planet at the moment with my voiceovers <laughs> oh dear so what i did is i covered it up you can always cover it up I should get that branded on something. I should get a t-shirt. You can always cover it up. No, if I get that on a t-shirt, people will think I'm talking about boobs. Mm -hmm. Maybe on a, a bag. You can always cover it up. <laughs> oh dear, this is a great voiceover, isn't it everyone? So adding some more of those Mamby chips. Adding them here, adding them there, adding them freaking everywhere. Oh, that was quick. Those tiny word stickers went on like that. I often pause it when I put on tiny word stickers or alphas because you don't need to see that. And that sticker got stuck and then it ripped up some of the photo. But I covered it up. I love that little love, love, love. I've had about three packets of these stickers, I think. And I, that's my, one of my favorite. It's just so little and cute. And now I'm done. So magically like that, I was just complete. So I'm going to show you bit by bit. And what I will do is I will put some photos of these on my Instagram over the next few days. I'll take some tomorrow when the sun is shining because right now the sun has gone to sleep. But thanks for watching everyone and thanks for if you sat through this voiceover, congratulations, gold star, because it was it was definitely one for the books of um, disasters. So we had we had Frederick and his shenanigans and he thought he could destroy the layout but alas he could not mm, i foiled you this time frederick let's hope he doesn't try again to be a bit of a scallywag i love the word scallywag oh, it's a good word 
So thanks for watching everyone and please give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more Project Life Grab 5 videos and I want to say a huge shout out and thank you to everyone who congratulated me on my Scraptastic Clubness. So if you haven't heard I am part of the Scraptastic design team now which I'm super excited about. I will film a face to face video this weekend um, just filling you in on some things that have been happening lately in my scrappingness and yeah thanks for watching everyone oh that rice is so good so good i want rice now mm. all right guys i will talk to you next time i'm gonna go try and find some rice bye oh dancing hands <laughs>